Okay, we're going to learn the five note scale starting on C. We're using five fingers for five notes. Our thumb is one, index finger is two, three, four, little pinky is five. Do that with me. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, now we're going to put those fingers on the correct keys on the keyboard. So to find that, we have groups of three black notes and two black notes. Okay, there's another two black notes there, there's another three black notes there. These middle two black notes, and then next to that, to the left of that black note, is C. Put your thumb, or number one finger, on C, your index finger, or number two, on D, number three, on E, number four, on F, number five, on G. Okay, now as you push one, thing, one key down, let that go, push the next key down. Let that go, push the next key down. Okay, don't push them all down at once. Sounds like that. Okay, so that's our five note scale. Do it one more time with me. Two black notes to the left of that. Put your thumb there. Okay, next finger, next note. Next finger, next note. Next finger, next note. Next finger, next note. Okay, and we're going to record that in GarageBand. Okay, I'm going to show you how to record your five note scale and your other songs as well. Okay, so we open up uh, GarageBand and uh, we select Empty Project. Now, when we plug our launch keys in, we want software instrument. If you're on an audio track or any of these other ones, you won't get any sound. Okay, so we want software instrument. That's what, see when you plug in a USB MIDI keyboard, that's what our launch key is to play and record, okay, using the sounds in GarageBand. Okay, it's going to be on classical electric piano, please don't change it, that will do for this particular assignment. When you're writing your songs next term, you can use all sorts of sound plus drum tracks and everything, okay. Right now we're just learning how to play the keyboard. Right, so, I'm going to play, um, I'm going to play, uh, my five note scale on my keyboard and for this purpose I'm not going to worry about these purple dots here. I'll explain what they are. That metronome gives a click 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 a click track right through so you play exactly in time. Okay? Uh, for our purposes um, not really necessary and it's a little bit distracting. Okay? And then on top of that if you press the one two three four button it gives you a counting. So have a listen to that. Okay, but that means you've got to play it that fast, okay? So let's turn those off for the moment. Now, whenever you want to record in GarageBand and you've just been playing a recording, you need to hit this button to go back to the beginning, okay? Um, if that button's not there, it means you are at the beginning, okay? So I've practiced my five-note scale. Okay, that's pretty good. So I'm ready to record. Here it goes. Now, when you hit the record button, not immediately, but as soon as you can, after you hit the record button, you've practiced your scale, hit the record button. And we're trying to play it nice, and then you hit the space bar or the stop button. Okay? So you hit the space bar or the stop button. Take it back to the beginning. Let's have a listen to that. Okay, now watch this carefully because this is the process you use for all your other songs as well. We're going to um, need to export that. We don't just save the file and send the garage band file to um, uh, put the garage band file on our Canvas assignment, okay, because we're going to export it as an MP3. Okay, that's a sound file. You can send it anywhere and anyone can listen to it. 
all right? So if you want to show your mum what you did, you send her an MP3 file. If you send her the garage band file, she can't listen to it. She won't be able to open it, okay? So look at this. Share. Export song to disk. Okay, wait for it now. Out of all these buttons, the one we want is MP3. And you see how it even says what time I've done this. You don't need to leave that in. Uh, you could just start typing. Okay, when it's lit up like that, you don't need to delete or anything like this. Start typing and you just five note scale. I'm going to put that in my documents. You can put that wherever you like, just so long as you can put it in your downloads, whatever, it doesn't matter. So long as you know where you've put that and that's what you upload to your Canvas assignment. Export. Okay, and if it's a big song, it takes a while to do that, but that's done it almost straight away.